On this channel, we've explored various frag engines that enhance vector retrieval and semantic search embeddings using frameworks like RagFlow, Hybrid Rag, as well as GraphRag, and so many others. Today, I'm going to be showcasing one of the best new rag engines available, a tool specifically designed to streamline AI application development, and this is by automating data extraction and optimizing real-time rag pipelines. Allow me to introduce Vectorize. Vectorize combines rag evaluation with pipeline building, which is going to enable you to effortlessly transform unstructured data into perfectly optimized vector search indexes which are purposely built for RAG. Now, there's two main components to vectorize, which are RAG evaluation tools, and secondly, you have RAG pipeline builders. Starting off with the RAG evaluation tool. When building a RAG application, how do you decide which embedding models and chunking strategies will work best for your data? Many people rely on trial and error, but vectorize offers a better way. Its RAG evaluation tool automatically assesses different RAG strategies, which is going to help you identify the most effective approach to your unique data. Now, once you have found the best strategy for vectorizing your data, you can easily create optimized vector indexes using the RAG pipeline builder. Now, this tool enables you to quickly build vector search indexes from various unstructured data sources, such as documents, PDFs, SaaS platforms, and even knowledge bases. This is the power behind one of the best new RAG engines, and this is something that I'm going to be showcasing its full potential in today's video. So with that in mind, let's dive straight into the video and showcase the capabilities of how you can get started with this new RAG engine. So essentially, how you use this RAG engine is quite simple with this three-step process where you import, evaluate, and deploy. This is to unlock the potential of the LM with Vectorize. Firstly, you start off by importing your unstructured data where you can upload different types of documents, various file types, or even connecting to external systems. And this is where Vectorize can extract the natural language of your LM. And from here, you can then utilize Vectorize uh, evaluation tool for the RAG uh, system. And this is to analyze multiple chunking and embedding strategies. And this is where it will provide recommendations provided based on the performance. Once that has been evaluated, you can then deploy a real-time vector pipeline that automatically updates with changes. And this will overall ensure accurate search results. And this is with the RAG pipeline builder that Vectorize provides. On the topic of importing, Vectorize actually offers ready-to-use connectors for popular knowledge repositories. It also has the ability to have collaboration platforms as well as CRMs where you can transform your data from these different gateways into generative AI with a simple click. So now that we have understood the components as well as the flow to utilize Vectorize, what I want you to do is head over to the Vectorize website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video. What I want you to do is click on the try free now button, which will prompt open the sign up page so that you can create an account with Vectorize, either with a Google account or with a simple email address. So go ahead and create your account and then we can proceed forward with the next step. Once you sign up, you'll then be greeted with the main dashboard of Vectorize. This is where you can easily get started with the RAG evaluation, as well as where you can start creating your new RAG pipeline. You can also invite users to your organization and with the ability to integrate various sorts of integrations from various source connectors from Amazon S3 all the way to Google Drive and so many others. You also have the ability to connect various vector databases from open source vector databases to various other sorts like Couchspace as well as Pinecone. You also have the ability to integrate various AI platforms such as OpenAI's embeddings, as well as Voyage AI. What we're going to be doing is going over to the RAG evaluation. And this is where we're going to be creating a new RAG evaluation to showcase how you can connect to data and manage RAG pipelines, as well as fine-tune embedding parameters. This is where the RAG evaluation tools can assist in evaluating RAG strategies to find the best one for your data. 
So in this case, you can select various databases from Astra, Pinecone, you have Capella, as well as Elastic. And in this case, you can even select the different vectorization strategies, such as choosing a custom one or a default one, which would evaluate four vectorization strategies using OpenAI, Mistral, and Voyage AI embedding models for paragraph chunking strategy. From here, once you select the strategy and the database, you can enter a name for evaluation. So after you give a name and upload different documents that you want to evaluate to vectorize, you can then proceed forward by starting your RAG evaluation. So this is an archive RAG paper RAG evaluation dashboard. This is where I have connected the Pinecone as my database and I've uploaded three separate files which are documents on RAG surveys, corrective RAG, as well as RAG in general. And at this current moment, you can see that it is focusing on finding the best performance metrics. This is where Vectorize is going to provide different detailed evaluation metrics, such as normalized discount cumulative gain. You also have relevancy scores, and these are different metrics that are going to assist you with strategies that retrieve the most relevant information and generate the most accurate answers. And at the moment, you can see that the OpenAI version 3 large is the best option for our final pipeline. And if we are to actually scroll down, this is where you have synthetic question generation. So for each of the different vectorization plans, you have a separate question generation. And what this basically means is that it's going to be used to evaluate the performance for each vectorization strategy. So you have one for each of the different plans and you can see that it generates different synthetic questions for each of the separate plans based off the documents that you've uploaded. And these questions serve as a benchmark to measure how well they retrieve and generate components quite well together. And from here, you can see that this is a real-time uh, monitoring progress that will showcase RAG evaluation progresses. From here, you can then go to the RAG sandbox and this will basically assist you in showcasing which evaluations will offer the best test to defer vector indexes as well as strategies with real queries. So you can choose between all of these separate plans and test them out by giving a system behavior and you can ask different sample questions to see what sort of contents are retrieved best for each different embedding plan. So we can ask it the same thing and you can see that the average relevancy score was 90, 0.9921. And if we are to ask that second embedding model, which is the OpenAI ADA version 2 with the same question, you're going to be able to see that it was a slightly lower score in comparison to the version 3 large. Essentially, with the RAG evaluation, you're going to be able to get incredible fast results and it's going to deliver data in a couple of minutes by building multiple indexes in parallel. Its efficiency saves days of manual analysis, and with its synthetic question generation capabilities, you gain deeper insights with each of these different embedding models. Now, you can also experiment with your own data in the RAG sandbox, and it's going to allow you to verify and fine-tune the results so that these insights can help you create highly optimized vector indexes for superior RAG performance. Also, something cool to note is that you can create a public link. So in this case, you can copy this link after it has been generated, and you can actually share this around with a couple of other team members so that you can get the same sort of testing done with other members, and you can get more analysis made on each of these different vectorization plans. Now that you have understood how to best vectorize your data for optimal RAG performance, let's now basically explore how you can create a vector index optimized for RAG. Now, this is where RAG pipeline comes into play and it allows you to quickly build vector search indexes from unstructured data. And this is with sources like documents, PDFs, you have SaaS platforms, as well as knowledge bases. And essentially, the key features are where you can connect unstructured data from various sources, which we saw previously. You have all these sources in which you can connect your data from, and you can keep your vector indexes and unstructured data synchronized, which is going to ensure your RAG application always has the latest information. 
it avoids stale data in your RAG responses, and it brings your own vector database where you can maintain full control and ownership of your data. You can use retrieval endpoints for built-in re-ranking and relevancy scoring to enhance your RAG application. So now let's go ahead and create a new RAG pipeline to showcase this. So I went along and I chose the name I've connected my vector database where it's gonna store your vector data and I've selected the AI platform. So I've connected the OpenAI text embedding model and by providing my OpenAI API key. You can select the model of your choice. Uh, you can also select the chunking strategy. And in this case, you can configure these metrics. But in my opinion, it's best that you leave it as the default. And what you can do next is click on source connection. So now what you can do is you can add a source connector for the people who do not know, source connectors are tools that are used to read and extract data from various sources, which is then sent to the destination such as a database or an application for further processing or use. They enable the seamless integration between unstructured data sources and the system where the data will be utilized. So choose the one of your choice. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my Google Drive. Go ahead and provide a name as well as your service account, Jason and go ahead and then configure your pipeline. After you complete adding your source connector, you can then schedule your the RAG pipeline. This is where it's gonna be setting up a schedule for your RAG pipeline to determine when it will run. So you can set it weekly, manually, daily, on weekdays, or you can have it so that it's a custom time. But in this case, let's leave it as weekly. And what we're gonna be doing is creating our RAG pipeline now. So now that we have this fully constructed, we have it so that it's going to start creating the pipeline, it's going to deploy the pipeline, and it's going to start backfilling the process. And it looks like it is fully deployed. You can go to the initial load to see the progress being made for the ingestion of your documents. You can go over to connection to get your access token as well as your retrieval endpoint. You can go over to documents to see all the different documents that have been embedded. And if you go back into overview, you can go over to the RAG sandbox to test this out. So you can test out your RAG pipeline and you're going to be able to start having the ability to utilize this RAG pipeline with your data sources, such as the connections that we have updated as well as our vector database. You also have the ability to utilize various models from Llama 3.1 to GPT-4 Omni, Mistral, as well as gamma two nine billion parameters. And that's about it for today's video on Vectorize. This is a great platform that will help you build RAG pipelines and help you with RAG evaluations. The team behind Vectorize excels in data engineering and has built a production grade cloud service. With one founder from Google and another actively involved in Apache Pulsar, they bring significant industry experience. Vectorize is designed to be user-friendly, featuring a generous free tier and comprehensive documentation that includes tutorials for a quick start. So definitely reference the documentation to get a better idea for the core concepts and how you can easily get started with it. I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. Highly recommend that you take a look at this with the links in the description below. But that's basically it, guys. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon. So that you can access our private discord twitter so that you can access the latest ai news and our youtube channel by subscribing turning on the notification bell liking this video and checking out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas